Somebody call a doctor because bad medicine is back. That's the answer. This is the Appleton Oak. I'm Mason Quinn. Folks, today we are taking a look at Avatar The Last Airbender. This is season one, episode two called Warriors. This is, of course, first time watch for me. First episode was great. It put me at ease, so now I can just sit back and enjoy the story. Yeah, definitely, definitely good for us to see how it went in the first episode. Amazing. Loved it. Definitely ready, willing, and able to continue the journey. Yeah, episode one was just about perfection. Great fan service, uh, paying uh, good homage, great homage to the original, keeping with the story, amazing special effects and casting. Can't wait for this one. So excited for this whole season. All right, let's go! <laughs> upset probably just misplaced it and keep in mind the notebook didn't find the avatar oh the notebook ang took your notebook may have been useful in collecting your thoughts <laughs> the avatar he ran <laughs> he ran <laughs> Even in this dustbin corner of the world. It does. And in this case, it is precisely because we are in a more quiet part of the world that we have an advantage. How many places can there be for an avatar to hide? Oh. Avatar Kiyoshi was the fiercest of warriors and a master of what they call the avatar state. Maybe something in her shrine will help me control my power before... You kill someone? Yeah. <laughs> before it happens again. <laughs> Whoops. Our duty is to protect the village like Dad told us to. Besides, what good is saving Wolf Cove if we don't save the world? Katara, do you hear what you're saying? We do have a duty, and it's to protect the Avatar. Protect him? Before I met him, I couldn't bend enough water to fill a thimble. And now look what I can do. And that's after a single day. I don't know about you, but I can't go back. I don't know how he thinks he's going to protect Wolf Cove with some rocks and spears <laughs> when, you know, the airbenders can do anything. <gasps> oh, is this going to be it? Katara! <laughs> Something's wrong with your bag. That's it. Come on, this That's suspense is killing me. It's a hundred percent him. <laughs> yes! <laughs> <laughs> what was that? A wind dream. The sky used to be filled with them. Just yeah. all right, just Oh, oh it's the techniques. The bending guy. Grand, grand. It contains everything you need to know to begin your bending education. Nice. You have no idea how hard it's been. Oh, grand, grand, new. Yeah. You are a waterbender. Never forget that. See? This never would have happened if we hadn't left home. Fine, we'll go to Kiyoshi Island and see how it goes. Nah. Hey, you ready to leave? There's something I have to do first. Mm -hmm. Nice. Goodbye, Kiyotsu. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> like I said, I'm so glad that there's details I don't remember from the animated series because it makes this that much better. <laughs> <laughs> Wanna join us, Mama? Mama! <laughs> He looks like a mama, doesn't he? <laughs> Just like how you look like a soccer? <laughs> Bet you taste like chicken. <laughs> <laughs> nice cutaway. Nice. This port houses the headquarters of the regional Fire Nation commander. It is a hub for local information. Anything unusual to happen in the vicinity, it will be reported here. Have you lost your mind? You want to ask a Fire Nation commander if they've seen the Avatar? Most importantly, you need to have sticky rice. <laughs> <laughs> there she Makes is. Makes me wish I had hair again. Giant scary lady. <laughs> oh, wow. Sokka. I was just going to say what is this? <laughs> hey. Oh, Whoa. look who it is. What? What's happening? You are trespassing on sacred ground. Stop. Oh. You're making a mistake. He's the Avatar. Ridiculous. There would have been signs if he was the Avatar. 
<laughs> there you go. There would have well, been signs. What about that one? <laughs> I think that might be a sign. Kiyoshi Island has remained safe from the ravages of war by keeping to ourselves. We expect <sighs> the outside world. We're not here to cause any trouble. Yeah, All is. I want is to learn more about Avatar Kiyoshi. I'm, I'm enjoying the story. Keeping our memory alive? We're not a threat. Maybe not, but the next visitors might be. We can't start making exceptions. We're not just any visitors. He's the Avatar. According to you. And a few reflections off a statue. Well, come on. No. Such a fierce warrior. And yet such a kind heart. Mother. <laughs> <laughs> to know that there are many in this world who would take advantage of that kind heart. I'm not too young. I just haven't seen the world. God, they got their outfits too right down to a T. Yeah. I'm reminded that Kiyoshi mm. herself often benefited from the kindness she believed in helping those who could not help themselves. Mm -hmm. So we will open our village to our guests for 48 hours. <laughs> Personally, I take that responsibility very seriously. I, uh, I'm the guardian of my village too. <laughs> you. Yep. <laughs> Protecting your people if you're here. What? I'm not. I mean, I, I am. <laughs> I may not physically be there. <laughs> Just like, all right. Dang. I have to save the world first. Dang, so I'm protecting the village. <laughs> that tradition has been passed down through the generations, and it is now my honor to protect this community and to uphold the values of the Avatar. That is why I'm not just a warrior. I'm a Kyoshi warrior. <laughs> <laughs> that almost seemed like you broke character. Yeah, that looked there. absolutely <laughs> like it was a real. Prince Zuko, what an honor. Our humble base, what can I do for the crown prince? <laughs> Our lapses as well. We don't get many VIP visitors around here. <laughs> As my nephew was saying, we are in search of maps and surveillance reports. Anything I can do to help, if you wouldn't mind giving me until the morning. I'm sure we can track down what you need. Commander Zhao, Zhao. at your service. Mm. Mm. He's not buying the no. shark squid story. No, <laughs> not even a little bit. <laughs> 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 Someone needs to put a bell on you. <laughs> There's food in the village hall. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see what they're doing here. I mean, he really could have gave her left chest. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> she just started doing the hot. <laughs> you should be practicing too. The Avatar needs to master all four elements, knowing you'll have to save the world. It's just, Gyatso used to be the one who trained me. Never really trained with anyone else. Well, it's okay. We'll do well, this together. as good of a time as that. Ariel, we'll do it together. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's, that's not bending that's at all. That's not water bending at all. It's not, uh, not home cooking, but wow, not bad. Very colorful. Oh. Yeah. Ah! That's the one thing I've noticed about the series is Are you really an airbender? Oh. I thought he was gonna do the spool. <laughs> the stone. Yeah. He knows how to connect. To get through to people like he did last night. That's his real- ah! Oh, yes! <laughs> come on, come on, come on, come on! Hit it, hit it! Yeah! <laughs> is this what it's like? To have people from the outside here? There's a reason we've avoided that all these years. Avoided. We've avoided a lot of things by living the way we do. <laughs> Be that as it may. <laughs> the Avatar. Yes, sir. He thinks he's found the Avatar. They claim to have discovered him at a small oh. water tribe village. Gave up the info. If Zuko's looking to us for information, it means he thinks he's still in the area. Gather any reports of unusual sightings in the last few days. Anything out of the ordinary, no matter how small. And do it fast. Like a flying bison? <laughs> a big, uh... Oh. <laughs> Seriously? 
Bell. Think about it. <laughs> Made it myself. It's great in combat and hunting and... Hunting? Yeah, hunting. <laughs> For tiger whales. <laughs> tiger whales. Deadly tiger whales. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to be all nervous. Oh, maybe not. not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That was pretty good. <laughs> oh, right now? I <laughs> know. <laughs> 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 Still warming up. Yeah, he's stretching. Ah, <laughs> uh, well, it's too aggressive. Yeah, she doesn't. So rusty around the edges. Uh, flirting, flirting yeah. yeah. And then, uh, <laughs> hey, I like you. I'm gonna choke you out. Not exactly the best at uh, social interactions right now either. Though. No. How do I stop the Fire Nation from hurting more people? I never wanted to fight, and I'm afraid of hurting someone. Back home, the other kids used to say I was lucky because I never really had to train. But I did have to train. Got to train. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. But to keep them under control. Oh, 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 Jesus. No one said anything. But I could tell. They were scared of me. Yeah, they didn't want to play air ball with you. What if I never learn how to control my power? How many people will I hurt? You are literally not alone. The other avatars are inside you. You want someone to teach you, you just need to figure out how to connect to them. The answers aren't inside here. They're inside you. Zhao's boat. It's gone. Zhao? He heard something about a flying cow near Kyoshi Island. Uh, flying cow. About the Avatar. Somehow he found out. We have to get there before him. Sa! <laughs> Sa! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sa! <laughs> Dismiss. <laughs> Whap. Huh. Huh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> huh. <laughs> That's your move, look, brother. Look, look. <laughs> Pushes us <aside. laughs> oh. 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 Hello. <laughs> Just the little touches are so nice. Avatar Kiyoshi, help me. Are we getting Spear it? World? Oh, yeah, we're. Oh, episode two. It's our first time in the it's Spirit about World. Yeah. <laughs> it's a fun time. <laughs> I didn't know how to reach you. I didn't know I could reach you. There's a lot you don't know. <sighs> Man! There were times I thought I'd never find the Avatar. Sometimes hope can be a cruel thing. Sir, we're approaching Kyoshi Island. <laughs> 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 Reflect their strength. Just cut that tension with that knife. <laughs> to be honest, where I'm from, there's not much call for a real warrior. Not being a bender means we have to be even better than benders. What matters is not the power inside. It's the will and desire. The heart. <sighs> oh, oh. oh, no. Oh no, she's gonna be happy. I've always wondered what I find. And here it comes. Meets one dude from off the <laughs> island. First dude that's <laughs> go to the island. <laughs> she's like so She's like coming. the bell and he's like, You hear it too? <laughs> the Avatar state is a combination of all your past lives focusing their energy through you. The Avatar state. Gives you the strength of a thousand benders. <laughs> oh, yeah. But it can also be the ultimate weapon. And it can save your life. We're too late. There's no way around Zhao's men. He'll have made it to the village by now. In Pai Show, the first move is not always the best. 
And so, where there is one avatar, there may be another. Good old Pai Zhao. Though we wish we'd had some advance notice, we are quite unprepared for guests. Funny. That's not what I'd heard. I understand you had an unexpected visitor just the other day. Look at those masks. Yeah, they're sweet. You and your men are the only outsiders here. An unfortunate perspective. You won't mind if we take a look ourselves. I expected as much. Boy, the Fire Nation armor is pretty badass. Oh! Oh! <laughs> I guess we're getting right to it. Oh boy, you better wake up, bro. Oh no. Oh. We are shaped by the different demands of our times. I have to figure this out myself. That is part of the journey. Mm -hmm. Being the avatar means putting your duties above all else, even your life. Wow, this is intense. Tragedy awaits the north, and unless you do something about it, you ask me what it means to be the avatar. It means being a warrior. Let's oh. go! <laughs> Merciless warrior. Ah, that's a little bit different take than what we know Aang as. I like how they kind of got to the bit with Sokka right away about, you know, him being a warrior and kind of knowing his purpose. Oh, nice. Oh, Whoa! high low. It's the total elimination from ECW. Oh. Right back at you. Nice. Where is the avatar? What if I do what you say and it all just becomes worse? It will. Your very presence in this world. Go! Oh. <laughs> Tick tock. Avoid your duties any longer. And not only will you fail to save the world, you won't even be able to save this island. This island? From what? From the danger you've put them in right now. My friends. <laughs> Oh, here we go. <laughs> nice. I will show you what that power can do. Oh, look at that. Oh. Whoa, oh, what? She's back? At least for a minute. <laughs> oh. 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 Oh! oh. <laughs> Those eyes, man. Damn, is that good? The old water tentacles. What is this? It's the flaming water, earth, tornado, <laughs> badass thingamajiggy. Oh, holy shit. Was, <laughs> oh, geez, unreal. I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> Just looks. I'm okay. A reason oh. to believe again. In our village, in ourselves, and in the Avatar. Nice job, Avatar. Listen, I, uh, I wish we had more time. I do too. Oh, I swear she's going to leave him with, hanging with an I know. <laughs> For bringing the world to me. No! Oh! All right. Whoa. Oh, and he gets a fan. That might come in handy. Yeah. Man, I really like how they did Sokka's character this episode. <laughs> yeah, she oh, knows. Don't worry. I got a feeling we meet again. They might see each other. God. So this means you don't want to go home anymore? <laughs> Nifty trick you pulled back there, channeling scary lady. <laughs> what else did she tell you? We need to get to the Northern Water Tribe because something terrible is going to happen there. Mm. You have me, Tara, and a flying ball of fur. What more do you need? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's <like> in the <laughs> cartoon. <laughs> I was simply responding to reports oh. of a disturbance on Kyoshi. I had no idea the Avatar mm -hmm. avoided this misunderstanding. I hope we can put this behind. No, of course, Commander. About the Avatar, no one else can know. Look at dude's helmet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We'd be able to devote 
twice as many resources to the hunt, obviously, with your highness taking the lead in all matters. An excellent suggestion, Commander. We would be honored to have your partnership. There is nothing more important than knowing where to place my loyalty. <laughs> I am but a humble servant in the Southern Seas, but I have news for you of a critical nature. I know this information may arrive as a shock and you might be <laughs> Looks like Mordor. <laughs> With my very eyes. Oh, no. Here comes the big reveal. Oh, look at his. One that could change the future of the Fire Nation. Are they going to do like the cartoon where you don't see him, or are they going to reveal him right away? Oh, of course. Oh, yeah. Oh, of course. The Avatar has returned. Oh. Oh, oh. gosh. It's so good. Man. Oh, oh man. Answer, uh, I feel you should be starting <laughs> off this one as the uh, as oh. the bad medicine uh, avatar super fan. Lovely to see them catching up and going to Kiyoshi Island. You know, like they said, kept out of all the wars, but like how they did the story with Wasaka and um, and Suki was amazing that it was like try to connect as warriors and like he's you know he's doing his little bragging about you know being a warrior and taking care of his tribe and she flat out calls him out well really well you know what are you doing here <laughs> well i <laughs> saved the world so <laughs> what i loved about this episode is Sokka was starting to become more and more of his like what do we think of him in the cartoon? He he had that funny side, but when he knew it was time to be business, mm -hmm. he was business. But he was always a good comic relief. And in this episode, he really was. He was so much fun to watch. He was very entertaining. Um, and then, it, like especially the little dance he was doing with Suki, and then almost happened at first. And then they had to get us those, what, two, three teases? Well. Where especially where like <laughs> he tries to show her how the boomerang works. She uses her fan. Just perfect. Yep. Just loved the little horrible ways of flirting with one another without yeah, lack of both, better words they're both very awkward very very much so but well and it kind of makes sense he's used to just hit, living in his own world and so is she so it makes sense that them kind of intermingling would be a little you know shaky at yeah. best what at first these, what are these feelings i'm yeah. having you yeah, know is, <laughs> is this butterflies or what is that and well they don't have butterflies they're probably something entirely, entirely different but then also that we got to see him go in the into the spirit world so he could talk yeah. to avatar kiyoshi and it was amazing and i love how they did the lighting where it was all like it was all like purple and pink and stuff around it so it had the nice circular so that way you could focus just on them because yeah i want to see what's in the background but this was important stuff she's telling them that you know i was like you were I, you know, I was calm and all this stuff, but and I, I didn't know how to get to Avatar State, and like I had to work my way through it because that's the only way I could bring peace to the world. And then again, they hammered it home with, "You were gone during the most important time in the world, and look what happened." And if you continue to do that, it's going to be even worse for the world. So like, and he's still, we need to remember, he's 12 years old, right. still getting this put on his shoulders, but. To see then Kyoshi come into the Avatar state and then see it using so uh, using water, wind, or water, air, fire, and earth all around it was just it was it was awe inspiring and they have done a great job again with this where it makes it seem so flawless again shout out to the actors for all their training because this isn't no easy gig that they got because they are working their asses off with their training with everything mar martial arts i mean because they did that little dance right you know suki and mm -hmm. saka and she had her kind of lead him and make sure that he was in the right spot so how many times they had to go through that i have no idea but they crushed it and just just the effort and everything that they put into it and then also last i'll leave out this is the wardrobes and set designs are just top notch for this they look exactly like they did in the cartoon paying great homage you mentioned the helmets the helmets look fantastic on the fire nation and so i am just I am just so psyched to see to see them keep going to different worlds to just see the cartoon just come alive to me. Done. Mic yeah, drop. Yeah, the thing I really liked about this, and I know that you kind of touched on it a little bit on the first review answer, was that you were a little bit worried about only having eight episodes to perhaps tell one book. And 
I think the pacing is really good. I don't really feel like I'm missing anything, or if there's anything that I do remember from the cartoon, I don't feel like I'm missing that. But what I really liked about this episode was Sokka was kind of comic relief for a while. He was kind of the butt of the jokes for a while. I remember that in the series, and that seemed to go on for a bit before he finally found his footing. And I just like how they did Sokka in this one, where right away, you know, when he had that moment when he grabbed the fan and he blocked the fire, uh, he was like, all right, I'm legit. I can mm-hmm. be helpful. So I think later on we might get that moment where Sokka kind of feels like because he's not a bender, maybe he's not as powerful. Maybe that'll come later. But I really liked how right now he was immediately useful, immediately helpful. He's has a level of being sure about himself that I, I just liked and it's kind of refreshing to not have to, you know, go through a number of episodes where, you know, he's just got a lemur on his head and he's hungry and he's kind of the butt of the jokes. I, I like how they did Sokka in this episode. The reveal of Fire Lord Ozai I thought was great. Now, we did see it in the trailer, so we got a little bit spoiled, but just the whole pan up to him. And, of course, Daniel Day Kim does an amazing job in everything. everything. Uh so that was a great reveal at the end, and I really liked the Kyoshi Warriors. I thought that was done really cool. And again, the the costumes and the makeup and the colors are so vibrant and everything. Mm-hmm. It's it's just such a feast for your eyes, literally, the, the when, food, you're, when you're watching it. The food. Yeah, the food was all multicolored and everything. So that was really amazing. And and again, uh, you touched on an answer. I will as well. All these actors, because we've had a fight scene or a couple of them in both episodes. And like, look, if you're just an actor and you, you know, you're maybe classically trained or whatever, maybe you did some theater and all of a sudden you're coming into a show you're like, all right, you're going to have to do martial arts now. And that's going to take a level of training and you're going to have to be able to pull that off and to make it look good. I know Oak and I have watched a couple of shows where you know, you can tell when somebody knows how to fight or knows how to do martial arts. You can tell. Or ver- versus somebody who's not so good at it. They're kind of shoehorned into the role. You can tell, and it makes a difference. So, so far, everybody has done an amazing job on this. And, of course, uh, seeing Avatar Kyoshi was just awesome. When oh, when they're in the Avatar state and they got the lights in the eyes going and she was doing all the different elements. It was just incredible. Again, another amazing fight scene. The special effects have been top-notch. Great pacing. I'm really enjoying this. How about Tamlin Tomita, also known as <laughs> Kumiko <laughs> from Karate Kid mm-hmm. Part 2. I fought pretty hard for that one. I'm not sure if it's going to make the cut. And, and uh, I think these guys thought I was referencing their character here. Uh, Mason Kramer, yeah, of course, I, I, have done Cobra Kai, yep. the series, and she made a small appearance yep. there, which was awesome. But I, I tell you, the on-screen chemistry here for uh, what is a, a live-action remake of an animated series has been really, really good. Now, I'm not a professional actor. I'm not a very good casual actor. <laughs> but on-screen romance, that can be difficult. On screen romance shrouded in awkwardness. <laughs> I'm guessing that's challenging as well. And uh and Sokka and Suki pulled it off absolutely perfectly. Those two, the way they came together was absolutely perfect. It you know kind of portrayed the you know, she is this badass warrior who her life has been dedicated to protecting this island. But she wants to see the world, and she's not unaware of men, you know. And then you got uh, Sokka, who's, you know, kind of traveling around, hasn't really been outside the uh, the water tribe very much either, and obviously sees a beautiful girl, is an, an intrigued by her and her fighting ability and just everything about her. And the, the chemistry there was so cool. You had uh, Yukari, of course, playing the t- protective mother, not just the protective mother of Suki, but also this matriarch of the island who's kind of, you know, made it her responsibility to keep them safe and uh, very understandably wasn't sure about having some guests there. Um, you know, we don't know how many people over the course of the years have said I might be the avatar. Mm-hmm. Um, obviously, um, people across the, the, their globe know that or at least they believe the airbenders were wiped out so when they see somebody who can do airbending Mm -hmm. that's very curious to them but to to you know have confidence that they're actually the avatar is another thing so when we saw kiyoshi come in 
and just go to work and that 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 led that tornado they did with fire water and earth was absolutely incredible and i've said it before and i'm gonna say it every episode the way they are doing the bending here makes you feel like you are not watching cgi it would be so easy for it to be wrong mm-hmm. and it yeah. makes it it makes it feel like there's some sort of propane <laughs> kerosene gas trick i just think they're, they're actually using. benders and it's real <laughs> um, the way that um, they're in the movers the way that katara was bending the water i mean mm-hmm. I, i'm the, the, look when the ball comes out of the lake okay you, or the river, you can tell it's a little, a little bit CGI, but uh, th- it was so good when she was pushing and pulling the water. Yeah, the I'm river. almost wondering if there wasn't mechanical um, fins yeah. pushing the water. If there wasn't, like I said, okay, she pulls the ball out. Clearly, it's it's CGI. It's nothing that we've ever seen before in our life because you're never just going to see a floating ball of water. The abyss. But <clears throat> he's no, you're not wrong. <laughs> um, but uh, but the pushing of the water that felt like it was actual like you know actual physical yeah, that impact. looked good um, and if it wasn't exactly my point but um, just it just I, I just can't say enough about it you know the first episode was a lot of fun and I think it was kind of like oh we're back mm-hmm. and you know it's it's easy to get fans excited when something like this comes back when you've you know waited so long so many months for us all when you've waited <laughs> so many months for a good avatar to return <laughs> Wait, look we're just we're, we're ribbing all you fans out there but years. we're ribbing answer we were yeah. so so spoiled with this but you know yeah you were when you wait when you wait for it to come back i think the first time as long as they deliver good you're excited yep. now it's like okay the kind of I don't want to say the newness is worn off because I don't think it's going to this whole season. No. But like, okay, now we're getting into it. Are they going to be able to keep keep this going? And and they are. They're keeping it going great. And here's here's another great thing about this that, uh, and I kind of want to bounce this off of you guys, that we saw in the animated series, they're able to do story development and keep action here. Mm-hmm. And look, Mason, Quinn, and I, and we'll we'll bring it up because I think it's important to compare to other really big shows. And Mason, Quinn, and I did Rings of Power, and the first what four or five episodes visually were. I mean, other than the dogs part, I, I think other than the dogs visually it was cool, it was, but it was so slow. And it's yeah. like, okay, well they're developing the story. They're developing the story. They're developing the story. It, it felt like a chore. To it get was through. like, oh my God. Versus and now with that. this, of course, we know the story. Now, granted, Rings of Power, that's a new story. So they have different tasks as far as world building. But with this first ag- first episode, a ton of action. This episode, uh, this didn't slow down for a minute. No, did it? not no. at all. And it kept going. And like I said, I think we're going to have awesome fight scenes in nearly every episode, the way we're going. The other quick thing that I wanted to touch on that I really liked was Yukari when she saw Suki and, and Sokka training. <laughs> she she let it happen, whatever was going to happen. And almost kind of had like a proud smile, I thought. Like, like that's kind of like my girl growing up or whatever. And I uh. want her to see the world. Because so often... When we see in movies and shows, what would have happened? The mom she would have come stops busting them. in. What's going on here, you kids? Blah blah blah. But I just liked how she was like, you know, as a mother, she's like, you know what? That's good. I'm glad to see my daughter seeing the world. And you know, I don't know if she necessarily approves of Sokka right away, but you know, hey, solid guy, great jawline. He's you know? a he's a warrior, so exactly. she's gonna be appreciative. But I just really, I really appreciated that scene because I like when movies and shows do things that are out of the norm a little bit and it's and it's a bit refreshing to see so that that one was a lot of fun for you know me. another thing that i think we're really um we're really spoiled with with this particular series is we get the action from the bending the the visual effects of the bending is really awesome but we also get fight scenes yeah right so it's not just you know like when you see movies where it's like magic happening or and that's i know it's a loose comparison but you understand what i'm saying there's magic happening but here we have the bending which visually is really crazy but we're also getting a lot of really intense fight scenes and i think that creates a really interesting and exciting because we saw in the in the cartoon it would be like in one episode would be devoted purely to just trying to learn how to bend properly and do this and do that and then maybe a fight might happen Mm -hmm. but it wasn't necessarily going to happen so in this they're they're incorporating both you know because they're doing 
you know, so many episodes, if whether or not you want to say it or not, at once. So then, yeah, you're going to get that fast-paced action going on while the story is being told. Because, I, I mean, I don't know if they're doing the whole book, which it looks like they're going to. Uh, just my theory in, in this season, but the way the pace. So, yeah, you're going to have a lot of action and a lot of storytelling at the same time, which, you know, <laughs> everyone's going to be here for. I, I think we tried staying away from as many spoilers as we mm -hmm. could, but as far mm -hmm. as pacing, um, I think we're this the first season is just going to be book one, I, I would imagine. Uh, that's the kind of the vibe. The only, I, I the only so. other thing that I could think they could do is if they did four books and each book was split into two seasons. Yeah, but that seems like a lot. I think my biggest. It depends on when you want to release date, how long you want to release it. I think and a big like concern that. would be um, Gordon. Um, I, uh, Gordon Corm Cormier. Cormier. Uh, if you, the or, French French pronunciation would be Cormier. It looks like Cormier. Um, but um, G Gordon obviously has a very young face, and if you're stretching this out over a couple of years, I even think. if you shoot, you know, maybe two seasons a year. Um, you know, in four or five years, is his face going to mature to a point where it's not as, um, as uh, you know, kind of as young as, as they're going to want it to look? Yeah, we now, saw granted, Walking Dead with Carl, how fast he grew. Yeah. Up. Now, as we, look with this, you know, what would be the time frame to get the shots in for multiple seasons? I, I can't say, but there are a lot of shows. Look, for, it feels like from that, like. You know, six to nine or ten, you know, age, mm -hmm. you know, it's whatever. But when they go ten, <laughs> then as soon as twelve, and then yeah. puberty hits, I mean, you're looking at you're you're you know watching I mean, somebody. He was growing. born in '09. Yeah, so he's um, he's he's that age where, and, and look, some people have younger facial features and kind of have baby faces. They get into their late teens and stuff like that. But um, you know, it could be some challenges. But I think. You know, as of right now, it doesn't feel it doesn't feel rushed. And I think if they did eight episodes and and kind of wrapped a book into each one, mm -hmm. I don't think fans would be upset if they did. Um, I would think for at least the last season, you got to do a good ten. Yeah, they, yeah. That, but I, I think, that end yeah. battle, those I end think, battles are going to be amazing. For me, the trouble with splitting it into two seasons and let us know what you think in the comments below is traditionally with the way they do the seasons, unless they did two a year. And if you do two seasons, yeah, long th you're gonna you're gonna stretch this story story out eight years. You know, one yeah. season, one season a year, you're gonna stretch this out eight, eight years. I mean, we we bring The Walking Dead up a lot, and it's hard to imagine that you know we've been watching it since 2010. I mean, it's since 14 years yeah. ago. So for this, um, I, I let us know what you think if you'd like to see it. And, and maybe it's already been announced. Yeah, I mean, we don't one know. Book, one season. I think that's the most likely yeah. scenario is where it's one book one season and that gives us four years of content and and um you know i don't know if we would see you know i don't know if the legend of Korra um did well enough to where it would get its own live action uh, but I yeah I, that's kind of yeah that's kind of what i was thinking but it's it's definitely it's definitely out there but yep. again another phenomenal episode mm -hmm. pedals to the floor the whole time with action and they've done an amazing with the actors and i can't wait to see daniel day kim and the next episode is Fire Lord Ozai, um, an incredible actor. Mason Quinn mentioned it. Um, he just is a he's one of, he's one of those actors where he's a, just a grand slam actor. You know, he's he's great in everything he does. Um, you'd be hard pressed to find him in a role where his performances weren't just off the charts. So I'm really excited. I'm glad that they went and got him. You know, because yep. he's he's a big name actor. You know, it's live action. You have some younger actors that might not be s not so well known, but they still went and got yeah, a yeah. big name actor. Yeah, you bring in some heavy hitters part. that oh, can yeah. deliver. And, you know, the other thing that I wanted to touch on real quick is when we were watching the cartoon series, I remember a number of times we said, wow, they could never do this in a live action. They could never show that. Or they Multiple could never times. Oh, yeah, yeah absolutely. Right? They did so many different uh, effects and the bendings and things like that in the cartoon. Tune, but after seeing what they've done so far, I'm not so sure they can't pull no, it off. I think, I, I think we're going to be all right. Yeah, my, my hell. We'll get to that maybe when it if, when it may show up in this season. But yeah, yeah so far it, they've been crushing it, knocking it out of the park with that. Even showing how well they can do the Avatar state during a fight scene, during a battle, yeah. and just even incorporating you know the earth and fire bending and everything into their routine fighting you know has been amazing and i hope we do get the fight scene between uh zhao and uh Z zuko because uh i'm hoping to see the uncle grab the foot and 
Why? <laughs> so I'm hoping yeah, we can see we that. Yeah. Well, we that's might. what's great is there's there's some stuff we remember, and obviously a lot of stuff that I don't remember, but I know they're putting twists on it, and they're not exactly doing it, you know, frame for they're frame. Not, yeah, they're not doing A, B, C, D. They're doing so it's like, like it's a, fun. You can two. anticipate some things, but you're not quite sure how it's going to play yeah. out. Did Kyoshi come in that in that episode when they were on Kyoshi Island? Did she? Did Aang turn into Avatar Kyoshi? Uh, he might have channeled her, but I don't think I don't he think he in. actually no. turned into her yeah. like they did here. Yeah, I think I don't think I that think that, that I d- help us out in the comments mm-hmm. below. Look, I, I know Mason Quinn and I joke. Look, we feel very. We feel very blessed. We're very excited that we didn't have to wait a long time, but it has been long enough to where I was like, man, I don't know if Avatar Kyoshi came in the middle of the town. or. If oh, he was so that's once again an interesting twist, but like he yeah. said here, it would only it be works. him when he's in there. It, 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 it works. And if you're, if you're a really, really hardcore fan, this is one thing I would like to hear the feedback of is whether the really hardcore fans after a couple episodes are happy with some of the uh, variations that have been um, from the animation to the show, or if you feel like they should have strictly stayed with content from the show, because I know that's a real touchy mm-hmm. spot for yep. when you, anytime you go from animation to live action or book to to movie, yep. um, if they take some liberties with some things. But this felt as a as a casual fan, I guess you could say. This felt awesome for me. Casual I fan. He had the arrow not. on his head for yeah. the finale. Oh, well, there yeah. there may be a return oh, yeah. of an yeah. arrow on the head. Some there might just, there yeah, might. and I'd agree with you on that, Oak. I think if they deviate from the uh, the animated series, I'm fine with that because, you know, why would I just want to necessarily watch the same Rehash. thing over and, and to know exactly what's coming? So I'm right there with you. I like the slight deviation and different things. Yeah, doing, the, the blue so tape not, might yeah. be here in the studios right now. There might be. It might be somewhere <laughs> around here. But once again, great episode. Thank you for joining us on this ride again. This is awesome. So for the Oak, that's Mason Quinn. I'm, of course, the answer. We'll catch you on the next one, pals.